centuries, people have been curious about a phenomenon, the long distance seasonal movements of birds, commonly known as bird migration. Why do birds migrate and what drives bird migration twice a year? What is the difference between spring and summer migration? Which are the main routes that the birds take and where are the sites that they use to stop over? And crucially, are they safe? It's been estimated that around 4 billion birds belonging to more than 200 bird species fly great distances from Africa to Europe in order to breed. While bird migration is a long and perilous journey, it is vital for the bird's survival. Migratory birds prepare in advance for these long flights by storing fat in their bodies, which gives enough energy to undertake their long distance journeys. Saving this energy by taking occasional breaks during these long journeys is another precondition of successful migration. Macedonia is situated along the Morava Varda flyway, which compared to other migration routes such as the Adriatic and Black Sea flyways is not as popular with the migratory birds. This, however, is only a recent trend. То што го карактеризираше Балканскиот полуостров до пред 50-ти на години беше и Моравско-Вардарскиот прелетен пат, меѓутоа со исушувањето на големите блата како во Македонија така и во Грција овој пат има загубено на значење. Практично од нашите истражувања последните неколку години покажуваат дека интензитетот на миграција по овој пат е веќе многу мал. Се наблюдуваат или помали јата главно на штркови или поединечни прелети на грабли и птици. Меѓу кои има интересни видови, веќе исчезнати од фауната гвездечка на, на Македонија, меѓутоа ете може да бидат наблюдувани. Higher concentrations of migrating birds can be seen close to Macedonia's three largest lakes during the winter months. For wintering birds from northern Europe, these lakes are safe havens as they offer food and milder weather conditions. Покрај Доранското езеро огромен број птици минуваат или зимуваат на Охридското и Преспанското езеро. Ние знаеме дека секоја зима се движи бројката помеѓу 20 и 40 000 на Охридското езеро, од прилика 15 до 20 000 единки на Преспанското езеро. Меѓутоа, промената на овие птици е веројатно огромна, затоа што од ноември па до март се среќава овој број и тоа се птици кои што постојано доаѓат и постојано заминуваат понатаму на јук, така да тие две наши езера се најважни како коридор еден или место за одмор или за презимување на на птиците во во Македонија. Birds face various kinds of dangers as they migrate, such as bad weather conditions and lack of food. However, man-made threats to birds represent by far the greatest risk, not only in Macedonia, but also in the entire Mediterranean region. The main threats to migratory birds in the Mediterranean are illegal killing. Uh, which involves shooting, trapping and poisoning of migratory birds, um, renewable energy sectors um, such as wind farm developments, um, so the, a lot of raptors, storks and cranes often collide with the wind turbines uh, on their way south, um, and finally loss of key stopover sites that the birds use for feeding and resting um, in their breeding grounds and in their wintering grounds, uh, which are lost to development, um, urban developments, tourism developments and, and others. Given that these threats to migratory birds are present throughout the Mediterranean, joint efforts are urgently needed to try to combat them. The Capacity Development for Flyway Conservation in the Mediterranean project has been launched to try to reduce the dangers faced by birds on their migratory routes through this area. Активностите кои ги спроведува Македонско еколошко друштво во рамки на овој проект подразбираат утврдување на прелетните патишта за птици на територијата на Македонија, со работка и унапредување на локални конзервацијски групи за истражување на птици и со работка со енергетски сектор. With this project, the Bird Conservation and Protection Program of the Macedonian Ecological Society aims to evaluate the importance of the migratory routes and stopover sites in Macedonia and to identify the main threats birds face here. In addition to this, MES has developed bird conservation and protection capacities by building networks of volunteers and collaborators. This project has been important to MES's researchers as it provides insights into the scope and scale of bird migration over Macedonia. However, questions such as the impact of habitat changes on the birds' stopover sites 
and the extent of illegal hunting and trapping of migratory birds remain to be answered. Hopefully, present and future generations of researchers and bird conservation enthusiasts from Macedonia will provide solutions to these vital challenges.